Hi, I'm Ryan Nickel, CTO at DSA Ocean, and today we're going to talk about sea keeping and maneuvering analysis in the context of working with Shipmouth 3D. A quick agenda, we're going to go through a very quick review of the ship motion analysis process and talk about the Shipmouth 3D structure and the applications we're going to use for sea keeping analysis and then also maneuvering analysis. By now you should have seen this flowchart quite a few times. Uh, this just gives us a bit of a roadmap to figure out where we are at. Um, in the initial stages we go through working with ship design information and setting up the ship model with uh, also with hydrodynamics pre-processing. At this stage you've got all that information together, you've got the ship model ready to go and you're ready to start looking at some sea keeping and maneuvering analysis load cases. So let's jump into the structure of Shipmo 3D now. Uh, Remember that Shipmo 3D consists of quite a few application programs and each application is used to configure information and compute data used elsewhere. Um, of course, there's going to be a few applications like the sea keeping and maneuvering applications that use the uh, aggregate ship model information and produce the sea keeping and maneuvering motion outputs. This is a list of almost all the applications in Shipmo 3D and I know there's quite a lot of them, but for the ones that are focused on sea keeping and maneuvering, there's only a, a, a subset here that we're going to focus on. Um, and we'll just move on to the next uh, section on sea keeping analysis and go through them. So, very generally, uh, frequency domain sea keeping analysis is um, an, a technique that uh, assumes the ship motion is sinusoidal. And so, all of the physics calculations behind the scenes are revolving around resolving what that you know that particular amplitude and phase of the motion is with respect to uh, the, uh, the the sea way the, the waves in the ocean. Um, the main important thing I want to point out is that it's extremely rapid calculation to make. Once all the pre-computation is done, you can resolve uh, motion analysis, you know, in in minutes or less uh, uh, over a wide range of uh, motion frequencies. And uh, you can see just an example of a response amplitude operator of the generic frigate at five knots forward speed, uh, with sea direction at um, at forty five degrees. And uh, with each of these plots indicates the. Um, the different degrees of freedom of the vessel, the response of the different degrees of freedom. So surge or forwards and backwards, sway side to side, heave up and down, roll uh, up about the forward direction, pitch about the lateral direction, uh, and yaw about the vertical direction, rotation about the vertical direction. So sea keep regular is the first application that um, typically uh, we'll use for sea keeping analysis. And it's doing a frequency domain analysis, um, and it's computing the ship motion response in regular waves, that is to say, a sinusoidal wave. And the goal of C-Keep Regular is computing the response amplitude operator, the RAO. Um, it's, it's really nice to just quickly get that you know, dynamic fingerprint, the RAO I like to think of as a dynamic fingerprint of the hull, and, and just show what is going to happen and you know, what's the magnitude of that motion in different, uh, different wave frequencies. Um, the, if you go back to uh, uh, build ship and adjust appended information, you can do this and then quickly recalculate the uh, uh, ship motion characteristics, the RAO, um, with, uh, very rapidly without having to recalculate the very extensive um, uh, radiation diffraction parameters. So it's a great way to make comparisons to see what happens when you're making changes in the design phase. The other thing that SeaKeep uh, Regular um, is useful for is computing the motion RAO database, which can then be exported and used in uh, other tools like ProDSDS. So SeaKeep Regular usually is the first program that that I uh, that will tend to work with just to quickly get an RAO and get a broad idea of what the characteristics of motion is like. You can also add sea keeping positions. Um, these are in Shipple 3D. These are just they're they're equivalent to virtual instruments that you can place at any point on the ship and then get information on displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Okay, the next application is Sea Keep Random. This gives ship motion response in an actual wave spectrum. So previously we were just looking at you know unit sinusoidal regular waves. 
that's fine, but sometimes it's really nice to just you know, look at what you're going to get in a specific C condition. Um, but CKeep random is also helpful because it resolves the motion characteristics of the vessel across a wide range of C directions. So C directions meaning where is the C coming from. So this is the response characteristics of the generic frigate in a long crested C, uh, C state 5, uh, with RMS motions and forward speed at 20 knots. And we have surge, sway, heave, roll, pitch, yaw, and then the rudder response as well. Uh, just to help try to maintain uh, maintains course. Um, and yeah, again, this is just another way of, of getting an idea of what the ship would, would uh, you'd expect to see sort of in terms of characteristics of motion in, but in terms of an actual seaway. Again, you can use seakeeping positions to get an idea of displacement, um, RMS displacement and acceleration, but also other parameters like motion induced interruption and seasickness index. Um, you'll find this uh, these parameters in a summary at the end of the output file in uh, CKeep Random. Build Seaways and application. Uh, it's very simple. It's used for setting up the parameters for a C state and saving them to a file. And it's used in other applications like time series from RAO and uh, Fremo, as we'll cover in a moment. So time series from RAO. Uh, this is a, an application that's used for um, generating, uh, like it says, a, a time series signal um, of ship motion. Um, but you have to have already computed the, the motion RAO um, in CKeep regular. Um, the nice thing about this is that it's nice looking at frequency domain information generally, but sometimes it's also handy to have a, a time series to look at and, and potentially even use in some other kind of uh, application or for some other calculation process. Um, uh, you'll need to get a C-Way file. I, constructed in build seaway to, to drive the environmental inputs for this. And here you can see I've just made a, a quick plot in Excel of what the generic frigate roll looks like in sea state 5 with a 30 degree um, offset uh, sea direction and 10 knots forward sp speed. You can also use sea keeping positions with the displacement velocity and acceleration and you'll get acceleration statistics. Uh, note that there will be a summary of this information at the end of the output file. Okay, let's talk about maneuvering analysis. So maneuvering is a little bit different than sea keeping because you're looking at um, how things are moving through uh, a sea domain rather than just like the motions of the vessel from the seaway. Uh, and to do that, you have to do a time domain analysis. Um, this is a little bit different than frequency domain analysis. There's no assumptions about what the resulting ship motion will be. And what's happening is the accelerations of the vessel are resolved at each moment in time from all of the forces, um, and then the inertia as well, uh, of the vessel. And that acceleration is used to predict a tiny, tiny you know, jump in the future what the position and velocity is. And then it just evolves through time. So what's really nice about this is very complex maneuvers are possible. Um, and you can see other effects, other nonlinear and complex effects like parametric roll as well. So there's just a little figure here showing the SO Osaka uh, turning circle trajectory. For example, it's an example of a maneuver. Uh, the, the only time domain capability in Shimmel 3D is in the application Fremo. Uh, very generally, the way you use it is you queue up maneuver inputs at specific points in time uh, about what you want to have happen at this uh, uh, at an elapsed time. You know, the, turn the rudder over this way at this many degrees, and 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 so on. You can turn on a C state as well, um, but you can also run analysis and calm uh, calm conditions. One challenge in working with time domain is it's possible for the ship to drift around a little bit. This makes it a challenge when comparing to frequency domain analysis, where you're, you know, basically the heading and is an input, and that the, the ship stays, you know, at that position. Uh, note that there are some active control capabilities um, in Fremo to help keep things going in the, the same direction, like, uh, for example, a heading controller. So that's going to make manipulations to the rudder to try to keep the ship following a similar heading. And of course, uh, there's also a course control, which helps the sort of sway position keep on track. So if you don't have course control, you might have the same heading, but you can drift laterally off course, basically. There's also a forward speed controller, which adjusts the RPM 
of the propeller automatically to try to maintain that similar forward speed, which is really nice. So that covers uh, at a reasonably high level how you use the Shipmo 3D applications in sea keeping and maneuvering. Uh, and that completes the process of ship motion analysis um, using uh, the, the stages of ship design, hydrodynamics pre-processing, and then the sea keeping and maneuvering analysis. So you know what we just covered was a review of the analysis process and uh, Shipmo 3D structure, and then we talked how the Shipmo 3D applications feed into the most common sea keeping analysis and maneuvering analysis uh, uh, processes used with Shipmo 3D. All right, thanks for your attention, and don't be afraid to reach out to us at support at dsaocean.com if you've got questions on working with the software. Thanks for watching.